In this video, we'll go over more than 15 collocations with the verb catch. So grab a notebook and let's get started. Our first set of collocations are all about getting sick. Here we have to catch a cold or to catch the common cold. And these mean to become infected with a cold. When you have a cold, you may get a runny nose, a stuffy nose, a sore throat, a cough, or a mild fever. My two example sentences using these collocations are, it's easy to catch the common cold in winter. And my next sentence says, despite wearing a mask, she managed to catch a cold from her colleague who was coughing all day. Here we have the collocation to catch the flu or to catch influenza. And this means to become infected with an influenza virus. If you catch the flu, you may get a fever, a sore throat, body aches, and sometimes you may throw up. It's usually more serious than a cold. The word flu is what we call a clipped word. It is clipped out of the word influenza. My first sentence says, despite getting a flu shot, she managed to catch influenza from her classmate. And my next sentence says, he felt weak and had a high fever after catching the flu. So he had to stay in bed and rest. This collocation to catch pneumonia is to get an infection in the lungs caused by bacteria, viruses, or fungi, leading to fluids in the air sacs of one's lungs. It's common to get a bad cough, have difficulty breathing, have chest pain, and a fever with pneumonia. My first sentence says, his persistent cough worsened and eventually caused him to catch pneumonia. Persistent means to last a long time and be difficult to get rid of. My second sentence says, after she caught pneumonia, her doctor gave her antibiotics. Antibiotics are medicines used to treat bacterial infections. Right here we have the collocation catch COVID, and this means to become infected with the coronavirus responsible for COVID-19. If you catch COVID, you may get a fever, have a cough, have shortness of breath, you may lose your sense of taste or smell, and you may have body aches. My first example sentence says, several students in the classroom caught COVID at the beginning of the school year. My next sentence says, I experienced a mild fever and body aches after catching COVID and took about a week to fully recover. My last illness-related collocation is to catch a chill, and this means to become ill or catch a cold from being exposed to cold weather or a draft. For example, she forgot to wear her jacket outside, and as a result, she caught a chill and had to stay home from work. My next sentence says, it's important to bundle up during winter to avoid catching a chill and getting sick. The phrasal verb bundle up means to wear a lot of warm clothes. The collocation to catch a ball is to successfully grab at a ball that has been thrown, tossed, or hit toward you, typically using your hands or specific sports-related equipment like a baseball glove. For example, the outfielder made an impressive leap to catch the ball just before it would have gone over the fence. And my next sentence says, the young child's eyes lit up with joy as she managed to catch a ball for the first time during a game of catch with her uncle. The collocations to catch a bus, catch a train, catch a plane, or catch a flight means to get on public transportation or in aircraft. For example, hurry up, we need to catch the bus or we'll be late for the meeting. And my next sentence says, despite the traffic, they got to the airport on time and caught their flight. The collocation to catch fire or to catch on fire means to begin to burn. For example, the lightning strike caused the tree in the forest to catch fire. And my next sentence says, while cooking, he placed the oven mitt too close to the stove and it caught on fire. Here we have two very similar collocations we have catch a glimpse of and catch sight of. Both of these mean to briefly see or observe something or someone typically for a short moment or from a distance. Usually, you can use one or the other, but catch a glimpse of is more often used for accidentally seeing someone or something, while catch sight of is more often used for deliberately or on purpose seeing someone or something. For example, as we left our hotel, we caught a glimpse of the sunset as it disappeared behind the buildings. 
And my next sentence says, after the concert, she caught sight of the band's lead singer leaving the arena and getting into a limousine. The collocation catch wind of is usually more often used in the past simple tense or in the present perfect tense. And this means to become aware of or hear about something often through rumors or gossip. My first sentence says, the personal trainer caught wind of the gym going out of business and immediately started looking for a new job. My second sentence says, have you caught wind of the latest gossip about our boss and her secretary? This collocation to catch a thief means to apprehend or capture someone who is engaged in stealing or committing theft. For example, with the help of surveillance cameras, the police were able to catch a thief responsible for a series of burglaries in the neighborhood. A burglary is when someone illegally enters a building to commit theft. And my next sentence says, two teenagers on skateboards were able to catch the thief after he snatched the woman's purse. This collocation to catch an animal means to capture an animal, to study, to rescue, to relocate, or to contain it. For example, the animal control officer was called to catch a stray dog that had been wandering in the neighborhood for several days. And my next sentence says, the zookeepers worked with police officers to safely catch a leopard after it escaped from the zoo. Here we have the collocation to catch someone's attention, and this means to attract or engage someone's focus or interest. For example, the loud crash in the living room caught my attention and I rushed in to see what happened. My next sentence says, she waved her hand frantically to catch the teacher's attention and ask a question about the assignment. The collocation to catch someone by surprise means to unexpectedly or suddenly surprise someone, often causing them to be unprepared for a situation or information. For example, the sudden announcement of his resignation caught the entire company by surprise. A resignation is the act of telling your employer that you are leaving your job. And my next sentence says, the unexpected plot twist in the movie caught the audience by surprise. A plot twist is when something happens in a movie, TV show, or book that completely changes the expected outcome of a story. The collocation to catch a whiff means to briefly detect or perceive a faint or slight scent or odor. While on vacation in Thailand, I caught a whiff of some durian. I didn't buy any because I was afraid I wouldn't like it. And my next example says, when the wind shifted direction, we caught a whiff of a bad odor coming from a nearby dumpster. The collocation didn't catch something means that someone failed to understand, notice, or comprehend something that was said, presented, or communicated. For example, during the lecture, he didn't catch the professor's explanation of the complex theory, so he asked for clarification after class. And my next sentence says, he quickly skimmed through the document and didn't catch the important details in the fine print. This led to some misunderstandings later on. The fine print is text in a formal agreement that is printed smaller than the rest of the text, sometimes in the hope that it will not be noticed. This collocation is used for questions and that's catch the, and we can have a news story, sporting event, TV show, or something else on television. And it is commonly used when asking whether someone had the opportunity to watch or see a particular news story, sporting event, or TV show on television. For example, did you catch the news story last night about the recent political scandal? And my next sentence says, are you planning to catch game three of the playoffs this weekend? The Celtics will be in big trouble if they lose. Thank you for joining. I hope at least one of these collocations were new to you. Try to use one the next time you are speaking with someone in English or down below in the comments. See you in the future.